Hello, I'm Akira Hojo. In this video, I would like to introduce the brewing technique of Pu'er ripe tea. The Pu'er ripe tea comes in a various size such as brick or cake or sometimes even a very small size like this which is called mini torcha. So I'm using this mini torcha and using this uh, teapot. This teapot, for your information, is made by uh, Shimizu Ken from Sado Island. For brewing uh, poor ripe tea, first of all, I need to warm up the teapot. So pour the hot water into the teapot and leave it for 10 seconds. Especially in the winter, the teapot is very cold. So please make sure warm up the teapot. After 10 seconds, pour out the water into the pitcher. Then place the tea leaf. First, I need to rinse twice. But when I'm rinsing the tea, try not to pour the hot water direct onto the tea leaf but to pour at the bottom of the teapot this is to prevent tea leaf from breaking it down so now I pour rinsing process is carried out not because tea leaf is dirty or smelly uh, because of the rinsing, I would like to warm up the tea leaf and open up the tea leaf. And I do the same process twice. Then pour out. Now it's ready for the brewing. Making use of this water, I would like to rinse teacups. The brewing time is depending on the type of uh, ripe pool. Um, usually for the first brewing, I brew 10 to 20 seconds. However, if you find that the, the color is not thick enough or flavor is not strong enough, sometimes you can pour the tea back to the teapot and immediately pour out again. Uh, by doing this, uh, you can easily adjust the concentrations. If you happen to over blue and tea get too strong, you can top up the water into the pitcher and easily you can adjust the concentrations. So now I'm going to brew first brewing. Leaf. Since this tea leaf is uh, very soft and uh, I can easily get the sufficient flavor, so I only brew for about 10 seconds. I repeat the same process on the second brewing. Once we stop the brewing, I suggest you to open the lid. This is to release the steam and cool down the tea leaf. 
as for the right pool, the tea leaf is very heavily fermented. So basically tea leaf is much, much more stable compared to the other kinds of tea, but I still suggest to remove the lid so that you can maintain the freshness over the uh, multi blueing. So now, let me serve the tea. I hope you understand the brewing technique of poor ripe tea using teapot. The point is, first you need to warm up the teapot and secondly you have to rinse the tea leaf twice using boiling water. And when you brew for the first time, I usually infuse for 10 to 20 seconds. However, this timing is a, a little bit subjective. If the tea is very hard and if you feel it's difficult to bring up the flavor, you may have to brew longer. And from the second brewing onwards, you can pour the water and immediately pour out. So now, let me try a nice cup of pour. This is what we say in Japanese.